All right, day two, you guys. Um, I'm going to finish the driver's side of the car. So that includes the fender, both doors, the driver's side hood, and the uh, driver's side rear quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock those out now and then catch up with you guys in just a second. Strictly where I'm famous I'm in this foot along this hall Like we'll see where it takes us I'm throwing back these double shots Like whiskey here is weightless Cause, cause this career I chose Was even riskier than Vegas Yo, you play and no one's in the crowd Like it's Pistons Bucks Burning sour down for all the days I pissed in cups And I be working till I'm rich as fuck On my own grind I'm a rebel to the system Cause the system sucks but See I'm going places most people ain't seen And I'm living out a life that most people would see and fiend And everyone's a rapper but everything ain't what it seems Most people can't run all too well when they're chasing a dream Yo, think about it, if you ain't catch it that's just what I mean You try to run fast after something and you run out of steam you're falling off and falling fast, feel like you're about to scream While I'm wide awake, make dreams come true, this feeling is supreme, yo All right, so I've got the entire car now cut. The uh, passenger side roof, the entire other passenger side. Well, there's only one passenger side. <laughs> the passenger side roof, the deck lid, trunk lid, whatever you want to call it. The um, back side of the trunk, the rear bumper, the passenger quarter, passenger rear door, passenger front door, passenger fender has all been cut and polished. Um, it's still got some dust on it only from cutting the other side what I was doing that was making a Mess and twice as much work for myself. I was Cutting and then wiping off and then polishing each panel at a time and it just made way too much work for myself um, It was getting a little bit too dusty in here because I kept going back and forth back and forth so what I did on the driver's side was I cut 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 and now I'm going to uh, wipe it all off or wipe it down finish it with the uh, Adams white finishing pad and finishing polish and then it will be ready for its application of uh, ceramic paste wax and if you guys are not familiar with that I will go over it with you uh, when it's time to put it on but the only piece that I have not done aside from the hood is the front bumper so I'm going to fix that right now get it done and then I will show you the first application of the ceramic paste wax so stay tuned all right after 12 hours of cutting and polishing the car is complete minus the hood mirrors roof trunk I mean, it all looks like a shiny black car at the moment, but I will turn the LED light on and show you guys how amazing this turned out. All right, so here's the hood. I'm sure you guys can see all the water spots. All that nastiness. Ba bam! The entire car. It's just like ridiculously metallic now. There are a few scratches um, around the car, but it's not something I want to get into at the moment. Maybe when I 
ceramic coat the car. If I ceramic coat the car, then I will tackle those scratches at that point. So I'm going to be putting on the ceramic paste wax and then top it with ceramic boost. Now what this stuff is, is a completely synthetic, fully synthetic ceramic paste wax. Now you guys are probably thinking, you know, what's the difference between the Americana paste wax and the Patriot paste wax? Well, the Americana paste wax is uh, Carnuba. There is no SiO2 infusion into it at all. It's just traditional Carnuba. The Patriot wax from Adams has a slight SiO2 uh, infusion, which is silica dioxide. Um, now this has no carnauba, it contains no natural waxes of any kind. Oh great, look at the, see that cow? He's taking a deuce. <laughs> this contains no um, carnauba, no natural waxes of any kind. It's 35% ceramic um, infusion. So it's going to give extreme hydrophobic properties and abilities to this paint as long as dramatically enhance the gloss and um, leave a lot a lot a lot of protection so I'm going to let the car air out um, go get a drink and get this ceramic paste wax put on the car the other thing about the ceramic paste wax is you can't uh, let it cure, you know, regular carnauba wax you want you want to, uh, or at least I do. I uh, apply it to the entire car and let it cure, uh, flash, whatever you want to call it, um, to where there's a haze, and then you can remove it. Well, the ceramic paste wax, you cannot do that. Well, you can, but you should not do that. What you want to do is panel by panel by panel by panel. So, again, I'm going to go around the entire car. I'm gonna do one door, I'm gonna apply it, and immediately uh, remove it. Um, it does say on the label to let it haze slightly, but by the time you get you know, one door completely done, it's more than likely gonna haze. Um, you do wanna do it in the shade though, do not do it in direct sunlight. Um, there is no warning as to doing it in direct sunlight, but who wants to work in direct sunlight, honestly? So, I'm gonna go get a drink, come right back. All right guys, it is done. Now unfortunately, the sun decided it wanted to play peekaboo behind a cloud. About five minutes ago, it was really sunny out here and metallic flakes, whatever you wanna call it, were just jumping off of the paint. It was ridiculous. Now the car looks amazing, minus the hood. <laughs> I know I've said it multiple times I did not touch the hood I didn't even strip any of the old sealant that was on it if you guys are interested in seeing a live demonstration of paint correction maybe ceramic paste wax application stop by the Adams booth at cars and coffee the beginning of July first week of July I think it's the 8th yeah July 8th Sunday I mean it's it's just amazing I know this GoPro doesn't do any justice and there's still minor scratches in the paint but like I said it's got and I didn't correct well, I'm sorry I didn't uh, polish the window the rear window it's got some water spotting on it but when I get some more time I'll be able to do that but oh my gosh I'm extremely happy with this now a lot of people the sun's coming out now a lot of people have said that the ceramic paste wax is very difficult to remove and I find that not to be true let's see if I can get this nope let's go over here do you guys see the the flakes anyways I don't find that this ceramic paste wax is, is difficult to remove in my opinion it removes just as easy as a, can, uh, a carnauba type wax um, although if you let this dry like you would or not dry but let it haze like you would the typical carnauba it is difficult 
but like I said I applied it to one panel immediately came back and wiped it off and it was pretty easy so thank you guys for watching this video there will be more videos about this car obviously as the channel is based on the MK6 platform and it's about to rain go figure welcome to Florida all right guys till next time